Physics teaches us that every body tends to remain at rest until an external force acts upon it. The same happens with the mind. It tends toward inertia. If you don't apply the right kind of stimulus, you will always seek the easiest path, distraction, repetition, the illusion of memorization. But when you apply the necessary force, even if it's small, you set movement into motion, and that movement can grow until it becomes unstoppable. Here's the secret. The brain responds far more to small, consistent impulses than to big bursts of energy followed by quitting. <laughs> it's like pushing a heavy rock at the beginning. The effort seems overwhelming, but once it starts rolling, physics itself works in your favor. That is the power of habit, transforming repeated actions into accumulated energy until your mind becomes a system that moves almost on its own with far less conscious effort. Behind every thought lies a mechanism shaped over millions of years of physical evolution. The brain was not designed for success. It was designed for survival. It was shaped to avoid danger, to conserve energy, and to repeat the patterns that kept our ancestors alive. But here's the crucial point. Physics allows transformation. The same laws that govern force, friction, rhythm, and leverage can be used to redesign your habits, your focus, and your productivity. The biggest mistake is believing that simply wanting it badly enough is enough. Left to itself, the mind seeks comfort, shortcuts, and excuses. But the very principles that make it conserve energy can be hacked to release power. Reduce unnecessary friction, distractions, repetitive decisions. Create leverage, triggers that multiply minimal effort, and establish rhythm, cycles that generate consistency. When you master these three forces, you create an environment where the right action becomes the path of least resistance. Learning means simplifying down to the essential. If you can't explain something clearly, you haven't truly understood it. <laughs> when you translate a complex idea as if you were teaching it to someone younger, you strip away the noise, uncover gaps in your reasoning, and create smooth surfaces for thought to flow. That clarity is not just intellectual. It transforms behavior because it illuminates the exact next step. Transformation is not mystical. It is mechanical. You will learn to position points of support, internal and external levers, to smooth out surfaces, remove friction that slows you down, to establish cadence, the rhythm that sustains action, and to build radical clarity, simplicity that reveals the essential. From now on, treat your mind as a physical system. Design, test, measure, refine. That is how you create, with rigor and elegance, a successful mind. Now, picture your mind as an electrical circuit. Every negative thought is like resistance, reducing the flow of energy. Every focused thought is like a clean conductor, letting the current run stronger. When you eliminate noise, useless worries, limiting beliefs, digital distractions, you reduce resistance and increase the power of your own mind. Clarity becomes the perfect conductor, and the result is absolute focus. Physics also shows us the importance of frequency. A steady wave can break through any barrier given enough time. In the same way, when you repeat a practice every day, no matter how small, you create mental vibrations that shape your identity. It's not about brute force. It's about rhythmic consistency. That's why just 10 minutes of daily reading can be more transformative than a single marathon study session. Now, imagine applying this vision to your own brain. You create movement when the mind wants to stop. You channel energy through the paths of least resistance. You establish frequency and rhythm until your identity rewrites itself. This is the invisible engineering of success. It's not about thinking positive. It's about using the very laws of physics to transform your mind into a field of creative energy. When physics meets discipline, the mind stops being a weight that holds you back and becomes the lever that launches you into the future you desire. And here lies the key. Gravity is the invisible force that keeps planets, stars, and galaxies in orbit. Nothing escapes its field of attraction. 
The same thing happens inside your mind. Every thought you repeat generates a gravitational field that pulls new ideas, emotions, and behaviors in the same direction. If you think small, you create a narrow orbit. If you think big, you expand the universe around you. Pay close attention now, because this is one of the greatest secrets of transformation. Your mind always attracts what resonates with your dominant thoughts. Constantly thinking about failure creates a field where opportunities seem to vanish, as if sucked into a black hole. But focusing on discipline, abundance, and learning generates positive gravity that attracts people, ideas, and paths that once seemed invisible. That is why you must carefully choose the direction of your mental orbit. Negative gravity is treacherous. Thoughts of doubt, fear, and comparison pile up until you become a prisoner of them. But positive gravity is born when you deliberately choose to plant thoughts of action, purpose, and confidence. At first, it's like a small star, fragile, still forming. But as you feed it with consistency, that field grows so strong that everything in your life begins to align with its energy. Now imagine yourself as a planet that can break free from a toxic orbit and enter a new trajectory. To do that, you need escape velocity, and that force is created by the daily repetition of new thoughts until they become stronger than the old ones. It's like igniting a sun inside you. Your gravity changes, your light grows, and what once seemed impossible begins to orbit naturally around you. Understand this. You don't attract what you desire just once. You attract constantly what your mind feeds on every single day. If you sustain focus, discipline, and a clear vision, you generate a gravitational field so powerful that nothing can stop your rise. And when that happens, it's no longer you chasing victory, it's victory being pulled into your orbit. Just as coal only becomes a diamond when it is subjected to enormous pressure, your mind only reaches its strongest form when it faces resistance. It is in friction, in tension, in moments of weight, that the brain stops being just a machine of survival and begins to forge itself into a mind of success. To run away from pressure is to waste the chance to become something rare and valuable. Picture steel being tempered by fire. First, it is heated until it nearly breaks, then plunged into extreme cold to gain hardness. That cycle of extremes is what gives it incomparable strength. The same is true of your mind. Every challenge, every criticism, every apparent failure is part of the forging process. Pain does not come to destroy you, it comes to shape you. Mistakes are not signs of weakness, they are the raw material of growth. Most people chase comfort zones, forgetting that prolonged comfort weakens the mind. Muscles grow because they are subjected to tension, and the mind expands when it is challenged. When you face a problem that feels larger than you, you are actually stretching your limits, and every time you return stronger, you are proving that pressure doesn't destroy you, it polishes you. Now, picture yourself as a diamond in formation. At first, you look like nothing but formless coal, common, dull, without shine. But when life puts you under pressure, debts, criticism, doubt, loss, you face two choices, to shatter into pieces or to allow that weight to mold you into an unbreakable structure. The secret is not to resist pressure, but to accept it as an inevitable part of becoming extraordinary. Remember, every obstacle is an invitation to growth. Every voice that doubts you is fueled to prove it wrong. Every fall is the exact moment your mind is being strengthened. It's not about enduring passively, but about transforming each impact into energy, each blow into refinement, each challenge into evolution. This is how you forge, under fire and weight, a mind capable of conquering any victory. Richard Feynman had a simple technique, yet powerful enough to turn any ordinary mind into an extraordinary one. He said that if you truly understood something, you should be able to explain it clearly, even to a child. It seems simple, 
but it is the master key that opens all doors. When you force yourself to simplify, you expose the holes in your reasoning. You uncover what you really know and what you still need to learn. That is the first secret. Clarity is power. The brain loves to deceive itself, pretending it understands just because it memorized some fancy words. But when you practice simple explanation, you hack this mechanism, strip away the illusions, and force the mind to build real connections. That's how learning becomes solid and creativity begins to flourish. And this technique is not just for students. It's for anyone who wants to master their own life. Physics also teaches us that every system can be modeled, tested, improved. Your mind is no different. You can create movement when it wants to stop, overcoming inertia. Reduce the friction that holds you back, eliminating distractions. Use frequency to your advantage, daily habits, and generate positive gravity that attracts opportunity, dominant thoughts. And when pressure comes, instead of breaking, you remember, it is fire that turns steel into a sword and pressure that turns coal into diamond. Now imagine applying Feynman's technique together with these principles of physics. You simplify your goals until they are crystal clear. You test each small action as an experiment. You discard what doesn't work and reinforce what does. In this way, the mind stops behaving chaotically and begins to operate like a system of precision. And the result is inevitable. Discipline, focus, productivity, and success. Remember, your brain was not built for success, but for survival. Yet when you apply the principles of physics and the clarity of Feynman's technique, you reprogram the machine. You create a mind that learns faster, acts with confidence, attracts what it desires, and grows stronger with every challenge. That is the path to true transformation. Using the science of life to forge an invincible mind, a mind of success. Pay close attention now. In physics, there is a relentless law called entropy. Everything, inevitably, tends toward chaos, and your mind is no exception. Without discipline, it scatters, loses focus, and is carried away by any distraction. That's why so many start with enthusiasm and end up empty, because they never created structures to sustain order. But here's the key. Routines and rituals are the antidote to mental collapse. Picture your mind as a house. If you don't clean it daily, dust piles up, objects get lost, confusion takes over. With the brain, it's the same. A daily reading habit, a fixed time to plan, a moment of silence before beginning work, every small gesture creates order in the midst of chaos. And the more order you build, the more free energy you have to create, to decide, to act. Discipline doesn't limit you, it sets you free. Now think with me. When one frequency meets another, both begin to vibrate together. This is the principle of resonance, and your mind works exactly the same way. If you surround yourself with negative people, shallow content, mediocre ideas, your frequency drops and you vibrate at that same level. But when you connect with brilliant minds, powerful words and inspiring content, your mind resonates at a higher, stronger frequency. But if you connect yourself with brilliant minds, with powerful words, with content that lifts your vision, your mind begins to resonate at another frequency, higher, stronger. That is why choosing what you consume is choosing who you become. Every book you read, every conversation you have, every video you watch is a tuning. And when you adjust your mental dial to the frequency of success, you inevitably begin to vibrate like the greats. Remember, you don't need to be physically next to geniuses. You only need to be in contact with their ideas. That alone is enough for your mind to learn to vibrate as they do. And here lies another secret, the domino effect. A small action triggers a chain reaction. Never underestimate the power of a minimal habit. Five minutes of study can multiply into an hour of focus. A simple act of gratitude can open the door to an avalanche of positive thoughts. A quick walk can trigger a wave of productivity for the rest of the day. The mind loves continuity, and every domino you push starts a flow that can completely transform your life. Now picture the universe. It does not stop. It does not shrink. It does not retreat. 
It is always expanding, and so must your mind. When you stop learning, stop questioning, stop challenging yourself, it's as if you were going against the very nature of the cosmos. But when you open yourself to curiosity, to new questions and new answers, your mind expands, grows, occupies territories that once seemed unreachable. Stagnation goes against the natural order of things. Growth is not optional, it is a necessity. And this growth doesn't come from having all the answers, but from never stopping to ask. Every new doubt is like a galaxy forming. Every discovery is a star lighting up in the infinite space of your consciousness. Remember, physics shows us that the universe moves forward, always expanding. Therefore, align your mind with that same movement. Expand your vision, expand your limits, expand your courage. Because when the mind grows without ceasing, the entire life grows along with it. And at that point, you become unstoppable, a universe in expansion capable of attracting, creating, and transforming everything around you. <clears throat> now I want you to commit to your mind. Write in the comments, I decide to evolve every day. That will be your decree to keep expanding your mind daily. If this video spoke to you, like it, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to continue receiving content that transforms. Thank you so much for your attention, and see you next time.